Hello, guys. God bless you all. I have a few things that I want to share from the Lord. Um, so on March 28th, the Lord told me that Candace Owens, people will know her in a greater light for my glory. And then the Lord was talking to me about Jay-Z and Beyonce. I mean, that's quite the obvious thing, right? Telling me that uh, Jay-Z is obviously a warlock and Beyonce is obviously a witch. I think everybody knows that. Um, But then he was talking to me about Kanye West. And the Lord said that he's not innocent. He casts spells and they don't know it a serpent, a snake, but they perceive him as not, but he is one. And then I heard doormat. The Lord said these people will be a doormat for Satan. He will walk all over them. Um, then I'm going to share the word that I told you guys, uh, the Lord had given me about prophet Lovi. Which hopefully after this, uh, the Lord gives me no more words because I'm really ta- tired of talking about Prophet Lovi. Um, but this is the word that the Lord had given me. He said, Prophet Lovi does not listen to me. He speaks my word, but he doesn't know it. Heed to my warnings. Tell my warnings. Tell my people pride must go. Shame too, says the Lord, for I did not call you to be a shameful nation. I called you to exalt one another, not be prideful. This is shame in my sight. I give you wisdom. I give you keys. I break spells, not give them, says the Lord. What is Prophet Lovi doing? Dishonesty. He doesn't honor my people. Pride. He speaks my words, but then gives demons to it. I thought that was interesting. He said prideful words and shame. He speaks my words, but doesn't know it. Then I heard lifestyle. He succumbs to his own life and his own ways. He is proud. There is no shame in his heart. The pride consumes him. Demons run to it. He speaks my word and demons flock to it like herds, witchcraft. And then I said to God, I said, how do they do that? And then you know what the Lord said to me? He said, didn't the devil speak my word too? Didn't demons flock to it? And I was like, wow. I was like, I didn't think about that. Um how they tempted, how um, the devil tempted Jesus in the wilderness, right? And and he said, well, didn't the Lord say, and then use the word of God to come against Jesus, but he used it out of context. It's all about perception, right? And if your perception is not right, it can cause deception, right? Um, so the Lord has been saying that a lot, like perceive me well, Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's why he's been telling us for the past months, you need wisdom, gain wisdom. Wisdom is the key. You need the spirit of wisdom. You need discernment. You need knowledge. You need understanding, right? And that's why the Lord has been telling us to read the book of Proverbs. Hallelujah. So that that was a word from uh, March 28th, 2023. Now, the Lord had given me this vision of, okay, this vision of Prophet Lovi, if he does not repent. Um, I seen where he would be in hell if he does not repent. And I seen him chained up to this, uh, it was like a cave and the chains were coming off of the wall and he was chained to the wall. And it's so crazy because at the same time I was seeing this image, so was a sister in Christ seeing this image as we were as we were praying. And it was like um it was he was in the same place. She just seen it in a different angle than I seen it. 
Um, and I'm putting in if he doesn't repent, right? Because we want him to repent. But the Lord showed me that um, and he gave me other words um, that I'm not going to share. I'm not sharing those words um, unless the Lord tells me to share those words. But everybody, please pray for him. Um, the Lord tells us this thing so that we don't follow deception, right? But to pray for these people, to pray that he repents is not God's will that anyone shall perish, right? Uh, pray for Jay Z and Beyonce as well. Not in the context of how um, what's her name, Tasha Cobbs or whatever her name is. Prayed for them to be safe and protected or whatever she prayed. Pray that they repent, right? Pray that God brings justice so that they repent. Justice so they repent, so they turn from their ways. Whatever God's um justification for that is so that their souls will be saved we don't want anyone to perish we don't want anyone to go to hell hell is for eternity this life is just a blink of an eye guys okay we want them to repent and we have to remember that there's demons behind people right don't ever look at the person look at the spirit behind them working and operating in them so just pray that they come to the Lord uh, and that they repent and they stop misleading people. Um, also, that was March 28th. Uh, also, uh, March 25th, I was laying down. I can't remember if I was falling asleep or I was waking up. Um, but you know, in the, in between being asleep and awake when you're in that, you know, that like state, the Lord showed me Dr. Fauci and he showed me Con Kanye West. And then I heard him say, you will see why. Uh, I don't know what that means, but I saw Dr. Fauci and I saw Kanye West. And then the Lord said, you will see why. And I thought it was very interesting. I was like, out of left field um okay i was praying to the lord about what i should invest in what i should buy and he told me uh mint gold mint gold so there's um different forms of gold he told me mint gold um so pray about that also march 23rd the lord told me Bermuda Triangle causing is causing cancer. The Lord told me the Bermuda Triangle is causing cancer and mind control and spells. So you guys know for a while now, for months, the Lord has been telling me Bermuda Triangle, Bermuda Triangle, Bermuda Triangle. Uh, and I had no idea what he was talking about. I still kind of don't. But then he told me on March 23rd, that is causing cancer and mind control. And I kind of think it's like some some type of frequency or setup that they have going on in the atmosphere. Um, the way the way I don't know. I'm I'm not technical like that, but whatever they're doing with the frequencies and, and how it's set up, it might be a demonic portal that's causing mind control and spells. Maybe it has something to do with the 5G. That's just me assuming he didn't say that, but maybe, but I don't know. So Keep your eye out on the Bermuda Triangle still. On March 29th, the Lord told me water sewage treatment plants, fermented dung, and spells in the water, sewage. So the Lord has been saying to me uh, for a while, um, fecal matter in the water, fecal matter in the water. I'm like, Lord, what are you talking about? So I see... I think you guys saw that video that I put up with Bill Gates making, um, and it's an old video, making uh, water out of poop. That's so disgusting. So, and then um, I think he bought like a large amount of land and has something to do with the water treatment or something like that. Guys, just don't drink that faucet water. Um Drink bottled water and pray over your water, pray over your food, 
break that's another thing the lord wants me to tell you guys break curses word curses uh witchcraft spells incantations off of you on a daily basis do it every day hallelujah um and break it off of your food before you eat it so that was the words that the lord gave me and the visions that the lord gave me uh anytime you hear anything take it to the lord ask him for confirmation for yourself people have been um contacting me about prophet lovi and saying that the lord uh has been confirming that word to them and giving them dreams um also people have been telling me that um they had dreams before that so this is confirmation to them so um be wise this is the lord speaking right now he's saying be wise in this hour um and also to use your authority hallelujah lord and let pride come out of you let pride go and be transformed in my light, says the Lord, in my goodness. See, tia, the, Lord. the Lord saying repentance is he, Batia. He said, much trials and tribulations up ahead. Hallelujah, Lord. But I will see you through it all. I see the word endurance. See, tia, sura, batia. He said, I will be your comforter. Be a tu, sura, batia. In a time of peace. Hallelujah, Lord. Because peace is in me, says the Lord. I give you a resting place, says the Lord. El Shaddai, thank you, Lord. Vitya Sura Batea. Hallelujah, Lord. Dicidia Sura Batea. The Lord says, I give great, great grace in this hour. Dicidia Sura Batea. Follow the path of life, says the Lord. And I will change you forever. The renewal of your mind, says the Lord. Dicidia mm. Sura Batea. And he's putting in my spirit being cleansed being washed with water in his word like as we read his word hallelujah lord he's cleansing us in the water which is his word in the holy spirit hallelujah lord wow the lord said um renewal of your mind will bring great wealth and prosperity health to your body says the lord Hallelujah, Lord. Okay. He's reminding me that in the book of Proverbs, it says that wisdom holds wealth and riches in her left or her right hand. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So many people um, don't have wealth. And when I say wealth, I mean, yes, uh, riches like gold, silver, money, but also like um, other things, right? Because wealth is not just money, but many people don't have it because they don't have wisdom. They don't have wisdom. And you, in order to have uh, that amount of wealth that the Lord wants us to wants to give us, we need to have wisdom. Remember that what King Solomon asked for was wisdom. He didn't ask for money. But in return, God gave him great wealth. He had the capacity to hold the, the wealth, right? He had the wisdom to hold the wealth. Hallelujah. That's a nugget for you guys. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is saying, be studious and pray and do not be deceived by deceivers. The Lord says, repent when need be. Mm. See me on your faces. Yes. Okay. So the Lord gave me this revelation. Hallelujah, Lord. The Lord has been telling us to come to him on our face, right? Because it's an act of showing reverence to God. It's an act of humility, right? And there's a lot of uh, lying, haughty spirits going around. So when you get on your face, it's like uh, those spirits leave, right? Because you're doing an act of humbling yourself before the Lord and being in his presence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So we always want to put ourselves in a position of humility, right? Um, because pride comes before a man's fall. So uh, we always want to be humble. The Lord is saying humble at heart. Um, and pride is such an easy thing for us to have, right? So we always got to do... Um, uh, a heart check right and check ourselves daily to make sure we're not uh exhibiting any pride and pride 
Cry comes in all different types of forms, right? Forms that you wouldn't even think of. And the Lord uh, says that pride is as witchcraft too. So it's a form of witchcraft, uh, like manipulation. Hallelujah, Lord. Um, the Lord wants me to talk about testing the spirits. How do you know that when you're prophesying, what you're hearing is from the Lord? The word of God says to test the spirits. How do you test the spirits by the word of God? Anything that goes against the word of God is not God saying it. He's not going to go against his own word. Hallelujah. And always ask for confirmation. Like a word is confirmed through two or more. Hallelujah, Lord. Um, but like if you hear something and then you get that confirmation, like, Lord, give me a Bible verse. Give me a dream. Um, give me, give me something to confirm this word. Uh, the Lord will confirm it to you. Uh, daddy God is not the author of confusion. So he will definitely confirm his word to you. He'll tell someone else. He'll give you a dream. He'll give you signs that, um, he's speaking to you, but in order to know his voice and discern his voice, we have to know, first of all, know the word of God. We have to read it, have it written on our hearts, but then we have to understand it and uh, not take it out of context and apply it. Use wisdom, knowledge, and understanding um, to perceive what he's saying and perceive it well, right? Um, Betia, anything else you want to say, Lord? They say they are to Sarabatea. They are, yes. So, guys, love covers a multitude of sins. Hallelujah. So, love, love on everyone. Hallelujah. God is love. The word of God says, Acknowledge me in all your ways, and I will set straight your path. Remember, the Lord gave me that revelation that um, when he says acknowledge me in all your ways, it comes in many different forms. Acknowledge love in all your ways and he will make straight your path because God is love. Hallelujah. And that's probably uh, one of the greatest revelations that the Lord has given me. Everything you do, do it with love. Let your intentions be love. Hallelujah. Let your intentions be uh, winning souls for the kingdom of God. Let your intentions be helping other people um, and just showing them uh, love. Even when you uh, have to correct people, just show them a love. Uh, do it lovingly, uh, gently, kindly, and with grace. Hallelujah. Um, it's not God's will that anyone shall perish. So whatever we do, just, just do it out of love. And um, don't be ignorant to Satan's devices, guys. Do not be. Do not let bitterness creep in your heart. Um, do not let unforgiveness creep in your heart. Um, pray for those who come against you. Pray for those who revile you for Jesus' name's sake and really feel like a love towards them because that's atomic bombs on the enemy's camps right there um, because then you destroy all the enemy's plans, right? Continue to put your armor on daily, break word curses off of you and just go do something good for someone today. Go bless uh, someone who doesn't like you. Go bless your enemy. Go pray for them. Pray for your enemies, guys. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Um, and just show them love, guys. With that being said, I do love you guys very much. And if you need uh, prayer for anything, if you need healing, deliverance, baptism, anything like that, guys, just email me and I will get back to you. I love you guys. Stay blessed.